We created a Google Ads optimization report in Looker Studio. Uh, the main goal of this report is to be able to easily optimize and come up with recommendations for your Google Ads campaigns. Uh, and this is meant with agencies in mind. We have a drop down filter at the top where you can actually select any of your clients Google Ads account and it'll filter all the charts to that specific client. Uh, that saves a ton of time. Instead of having to connect the data sources for each client, we can just use the drop down menu to switch accounts so you can easily see how the performance of all your clients are trending. Uh, we also have a campaign ad group and keyword filter on every slide. So you could adjust the data here and look at specific campaigns. Right now we have it filtered down to this campaign. By default, uh, it'll be selected to all campaigns and ad groups and keywords. And again, you could use the filter above to uh, dig, dig into the data however you want. Um, so we start with conversion trends. So you can quickly see three different conversion metrics and how those are trending over the last 13 months. Uh, then we get into just different uh, click-through rate, CPC, and click trends. Uh, and then the last trend slide is going to be on ad spend, impressions, and impression share. So from there, uh, we then get into campaign, ad group, and keyword uh, performance. So you can see what are your top campaigns uh, by percentage of conversions. And then on the right, we have cost per conversion. Uh, and then we have a table with all the data. And then same thing for ad groups. You can quickly see which ad groups are performing the best and then make recommendations on how to uh, improve other ones as well. Uh, and then we get into keyword performance. So same data, just broken down by keyword. And from this point on, we try to add in as many of the dimensions and fields for Google Ads so you can dig into all different aspects of your account. Uh, so we have match types. This will aggregate all the keyword match types. So you could see overall conversions and cost per conversion by match type. Uh, which this can give you some insights into maybe certain match types you might not want to use anymore or which ones are performing the best. We have landing page uh, report here as well. Uh, networks is always interesting to look at if you're running multiple networks. This one is just looking at search networks. If you had search partners enabled, you'd be able to see that data here and if it's worth keeping or not. Uh, we also have a bid strategy report, which can be really helpful in understanding which bidding strategies are working a, a be the best across the entire account. And again, you can use these filters if you want to drill into just, um, let's say you only wanted to look at these campaigns here, we could uncheck the ones we don't want to see. And then now we'll just see the bidding strategies for those. And in this case, we're only using maximized conversions for those campaigns. Uh, but this gives you flexibility to really drill into what's working. What we found is when you work in the Google Ads interface, often uh, it's more difficult to kind of get the metrics and see the data you want to see in their built-in visualization. Uh, by getting this into Looker Studio, you can just quickly run through uh, and get a, a good view on what's happening. Plus, with the functionality of being able to select client accounts at the top, um, that'll save you a lot of time uh, when you're analyzing your, your campaigns on a weekly basis. Uh, and then finally, we won't cover everything, but we have an ad strength report. You can see the metrics broken down there. If you're running different ad types, you can see that as well. A quality score, just breaking down kind of spend levels and conversions at each of the different quality scores you could have. There's some audience metrics, device data at the end, uh, really every aspect of the account we tried to include in this report. Uh, so we'll be giving this away as part of our newsletter for this month. So if you're interested in getting a copy of this, uh, just subscribe to the newsletter and this will be going out uh, later this week.